Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the new office switch upgrade that I did. I got a brand new network switch for my office and I think it's pretty cool and I wanna check it out. So let's begin. So recently Ubiquiti was having their kind of holiday sale on their website and I was able to grab the Pro Max 16 switch for a pretty good deal. And that is my new office switch. So I previously had a Microtik switch. The Microtik switch, I've made a video about it. There's probably a link in the description, um, but that Microtik switch had eight two and a half gigabit ports and two 10 gigabit SFP ports. This switch has actually kind of 18 ports. Two of them are SFP plus, just like the old one. Um, four of them are two and a half gigabit ethernet and the rest are all one gigabit per second ethernet. This is a non PoE switch, which I did not know at the time of purchasing, but if I would have read the website, I would have seen that yes, this is a non PoE switch. So there's no PoE capabilities on this specific switch. Now they do make a model that does have PoE and that is the Pro Max 16 PoE model. Um, it's identical um, except for the fact that it does have PoE and it's not just a standard switch. I was also able to purchase the Pro Max 16 rack mount option. So I did rack mount this switch with the power supply to the left of it, um, opposite from that picture right there. Um, but I feel like putting it on the left kind of aligned it with the rest of the rack in terms of where everything is plugged in. So it made it look a little bit nicer there. And the other thing that this does have is ether lighting. So just like a lot of the new Ubiquiti switches, it has the ether lighting capabilities. And if you don't know, ether lighting allows you to actually go into the software under the settings and you can set the different colors to mean different things. So you could set ether lighting to show the link speed, um, which will just light up as the pictures show here. Um, it'll be like orange or yellow, or whatever for like 100 meg. It'll be um, blue for two and a half gigabit. It'll be white for gigabit E or like a different white color, kind of a gray for a 10 gigabit E. One quick editor's note here is that you can actually go into your ether lighting settings and you can select the network option to specifically set different VLANs to be different colors um, according to what you choose or it can automatically assign them. This is a great way to be able to map out ports quickly on a larger network. You can easily see which ports are assigned to what VLAN and get a better understanding of what that port is doing. So ether lighting is really cool, obviously. Um, but one thing I did not know when I purchased the Switch was this was a non-PoE model. And I actually made the same mistake twice within the same week. I was ordering a Switch for a client and I ordered the Switch Pro Max 24, not realizing it did not have PoE. So um, I do want to iterate that it's very important to look at what you're buying before you buy it. Um, I was going too quickly and I did not order the correct one um, but the prices on the PoE models were also a lot more. So the Pro Max 24 non-PoE is $449 versus the $799 for the PoE model. So it's considerably more for PoE, um, which is really interesting to me. I don't know why it would cost so much more for just PoE, but I don't know. Um, that's something I'd eventually like to see Ubiquiti do where they lower the cost of the PoE models or get rid of the non-PoE models entirely and just have PoE because... PeeWee makes everything so much easier. Um, but anyways, so I did get the rack mount. Um, as I mentioned, the rack mount's very nice. Uh, I rack mounted a PeeWee version of this for a client recently, and it was really sweet. So I do like this switch a lot. It does give me a lot of extra capacity um, in terms of network. Um, so I'm able to do uh, file transfers and stuff that are unaffected by other devices on the same switch, which is partially why I do have the 10 gigabit per second connection back to my core switch. Um, I do like the extra bandwidth available. I'm never going to use the 10 gigabit speed, um, but at the same time, 10 gigabit is a really cool number and you might as well use it. I mean, the aggregation switch only supports um, one gig or 10 gig, I believe. So you either have to do one gig, which is too slow for me, which is why I have fiber anyways, or you can do 10 gig and go up to that speed. And that's obviously what I did. The port manager is really sweet. Um, as you can see, I only have a couple of devices on here. I've got a Unify Express on here. I have a couple of Raspberry Pis. The UMR Ultra, so really low bandwidth stuff. The only thing that's taking bandwidth really is my Mac Mini, um, and that's connected obviously to that two and a half gigabit port there at the end. Um, especially with the um, Unify U6 Enterprise and U7 Pro access points that have two and a half gig on them, um, it's really nice to be able to take advantage of that. 
if only I had a PoE switch. So that being said, you can also do a lot of cool things like you can do layer three network migration and you can actually migrate your network over to this device and this can be the router for that network. Um, it's, it's nice having layer three networks for sure. They're useful sometimes, but um, sometimes you don't need them. Um, one other thing that's really nice about this switch and the other Pro Max switches of this line is that it's a pretty cheap entryway into the um, Pro AV mode. So it now supports Unified Play, Dante, QSIS, NDI, SD, VOE, Sure, AS67, and Crestron. Um, really cool room control systems, um, audio networking systems, etc. Um, it's nice to see that natively supported on Ubiquity. I actually have a video coming about um, coming out about Pro AV mode soon. So I would highly recommend checking that out if you're interested into Dante or QSIS. Um, I'm doing some cool stuff with that. And Pro AV mode is pretty nice but it's like almost half baked. So I'll save that for the video, but highly recommend checking it out. Um, anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say about the switch. Um, I did get it upgraded. Obviously that's the point of this video. Um, and this is one of just many upgrades I'll be doing this year. There's a lot more to come. I'm excited. Um, and this is just the beginning. We're just scratching the surface. I've got some true NAS stuff, hopefully coming soon. Um, yeah, really great stuff. I'm really excited for 2025. So thank you for watching. Thank you for 2000 subscribers. Um, and yeah, let's get this year started. Have a great new year.